Hey guys, it's Kirsten. So <laughs> I've been going crazy with the CC 2020 uh, closing baby's eyes in Photoshop because the amazing way that it worked in previous versions of Photoshop now does not work so hot in actually 2019. 2020, I feel like they tweaked the warp a little bit where now I can almost get it to look halfway decent. So I'm just gonna show you real quick. You use the lasso tool and go just slightly above the lash line and then it doesn't matter up top like that control J that puts the upper lid on a separate layer then edit transform warp I'm gonna pull down the eyelid eyelid slow uh, just a smidgy smidge beyond where it needs to go like a millimeter beyond and then you're going to kind of play, you're going to kind of like go peek. Oh, okay. Just so you know where everything is. Then hit OK. Then on the layer over here with the upper lid, you're going to put a layer mask. You're going to go Control I to invert it to black. So now it's hidden. We're going to get a white brush. White reveals, black conceals, white reveals. 100% opacity, normal, blah, blah, blah. Up top, you're gonna get a white brush and you're gonna You want the minimum that you can get away with. Okay, so in Liquify, well, I'll go up and show you that in a second. So let's just say, yes, let's commit to that. I'm just gonna flatten it. I'm gonna move over here. Okay, so your lasso tool, you're gonna go along the lash line. Uh, control J to get the lid on another layer. Edit, transform, warp. Pull down a little bit beyond. Actually, you know what? I think I just nailed it on the first try. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. Put a layer mask. Control I. White brush. Oh, the white brush, if you right click, has to be all the way not hard. All the way soft. You want as close as possible. Flatten. So this eye looks pretty nice and smooth. This one, for some reason, I feel like the line just went a little bit wonky. So I'm just gonna go to Filter, Liquify. This is a Pinterest pose mom wanted. Totally fine. We love Pinterest. You want the forward warp tool, the top tool here. You want it as big as what you're moving, if that makes sense. So with little tiny micro movements, we want it pretty small and just little tiny like just little tiny movements. I think that one's pretty perfect. It's pretty awesome. Get this little, whoops, a kind of an upturn. So see his little eye? just to straighten out the lash line, no big deal. So his eye right here, I did not fix because that was just how his eye looked, even in the sleeping poses, his eye kind of goes like this, but if we were gonna fix it, now we're pixel peeping here at 200%, so it looks a little wonky, but you can take the freeze tool right here and just kind of freeze so this doesn't move, you don't want that to move. Take the forward warp tool just push it down a tiny bit. It's not that distracting, I don't think. 
then we can thaw that out. Mm. You know what I just realized? Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm like, did I thaw it out? Okay. So uh, let me look at before and after. Yeah, I think that'll actually, you know what? I'm gonna forward warp tool. One more thing. Okay. Sweet. Now his eyes are shut. Got a lot of <laughs> got a lot of hot mess things going on. Um, let's see if we can get backspace. Content aware. Normal. Anyway, um, we can clean all this grass everywhere. But I just wanted to show you about the eyes. So anyway, I think I finally got the hang of it. So thought I'd pass along the info.